Hey there, StarCraft fans! It's Falcon Paladin coming at ya with yet another edition of StarCraft Brood War Remastered! Today it's going to be a match between Nada and Hero here on Neo Jungle Story. Top side of the map on the left side-ish is the Orange Terran player Nada. And on the right side of the map at the top-ish it is the brown Zerg player Hero. Alright, so this is going to be an excellent game. You know Nada, right? He is one of the best players of StarCraft Brood War of all time and hero is one of the best third players of all time as well and currently still plays kind of feel like nada has retired at this point he streams brood war on i want to say africa tv.com anyway and he does team games and fun stuff and you can tell he's really really good but either he's not interested in competing or he feels like he doesn't have the skills to compete anymore and either way I'm okay with it. Nada gave us a lot of years of excellent StarCraft. So this is Neo Jungle Story. I have no idea what is on this map. Let's find out real quick. Ooh, there is a middle expansion, just like Fighting Spirit. I assume it is equally as hard to hold as Fighting Spirit. <laughs> wow, this is so weird. Up and around and down and... Ah, oh, your natural doesn't have gas? I mean, assuming this is your natural, can you get up here? Is that an island? This is a weird map, everybody. I don't think I like it very much. There's a reason I haven't seen it cast very much. Or on my replays. Replay, replay packs at all. Is that an island, too? Is this effectively an island map? Dude. I mean, how are we going to do this? Alright, so what's Hero going to do here? He's going to go ahead and take the minerals, it looks like. He's like, fine, I'm not too proud to take an expansion. Just because it doesn't have gas, but that hurts, man. You want that gas as Zerg for Lurkers and Mutas and all sorts of stuff, man. Upgrades are important. But I don't know where else you go. I mean, this is an island. You can't. You have to fly up here, which sucks. Got to research. Got to get a lair and then research transport. You could try to expand down here or try to take one of these other bases as your... I guess they'll probably do that as his third anyway. Now that I'm thinking about it. But man, it would really be nice if your second base had gas. All right, well, Drone comes in to see what's what, recognizes the wall up here at the front door. Effectively, this is the ramp leading into the main base. It's a huge, well, it's not a huge main base, but it's a weirdly shaped main base. You have all this in the top, and then at the bottom is where your space is, and your exit is at the top left. I don't know. I guess there are other maps where the main bases are like this, but it feels strange anyway. Drone wants to scout around forever and see what's coming up here. He's going to see the factory, which is nice to know. It's likely not going to be really heavy biopressure early. We're looking at vultures likely with spider mine upgrades coming fast. So he needs to be ready for that. He's getting his spawning pool. He wishes he had gas at his natural, but he doesn't quite need it yet. Obviously not. And is he going to send somebody out to go for a third? Probably not until he knows if Nada is getting a natural base early or not. A one basing Terran is pretty scary. You don't want to expand behind that. But if he throws up an expansion right here, which he doesn't have the resources for, mind you... Mmm, this could be a one base attack here out of Nada, and then Hero doesn't want to expand, and then Hero only has the one gas. Which, honestly, if you are a Terran, you don't care as much. Marines and Vultures are very cheap that way, and you don't have to worry about the gas. Hmm, what is this? Why is there a thing here? That's a goal from the campaign. Why would there be a goal spot? I don't understand anything what's happening right now. Are you seriously going Lair? Okay, man, he's going Lurkers. With one extractor worth of gas. This is so crazy to me. Oh, double starport opening. Nada, what is happening? Are you going crazy, Wraiths? Oh, maybe he's doing it. Maybe he knows the lack of gas makes Hydras less likely. But that's exactly what Hero is going for. So I kind of like what we're seeing right now. This really feels like Wraiths to me. I don't know why else you go double starport this early. But he's going to have the Hydras available. He's making Hydras right now. And he's going to have the ability... Oh, man, okay. You can go Lurker Aspect if he wants. He's got the gas for it. And he's going for a Spire instead. Okay, so Hydra Den early to deal with the Anti-Air. And to deal with the Vultures to some extent. But, oh, there's nothing up here. He made zero Lings. He made 100% zero Zerglings here. Oh, the Vulture does escape with his life after killing two drones. Pretty good. Okay, he made some Lings over here, but not for base defense. So he made exactly two Zerglings. He's not going to waste a lot of resources on those. He wants to get Hydras out as soon as possible here at the four-minute mark. So you're going to dot. Oh, man. The Vulture's coming back in. Nada, your game sense is impeccable. He's going to kill these workers. He's going to three-shot these drones. Those guys have to get out of there. The Hydra's going to try to finish the Vulture off, but doesn't have speed. And the Vulture 
can just swing right on past him. Meanwhile, oh, there are two Bengalasses here, and it is. It is definitely Wraiths coming on out. Oh, that's why you have the Hydralisks. Are you pushing with your Hydras? He's pushing with the Hydras, though! Oh, no, <laughs> you're in so much trouble. Okay, so the race to announce their presence by killing that Overlord. Oh, are there Hydras on the way? They're better. Oh, there are not. All right, so there's one Hydralisk. Which, again, anything that can hit the Wraiths will kill the Wraiths fairly effectively. Is he going to make those? He doesn't have Lurker Aspect. What are you doing? This is like a weird Dragoon push against Terran. I mean, seriously, though. These Wraiths are doing big-time work right now. Of course, they are fleeing. The one Hydra seems to be enough to handle them. Are there more Morris on the way? Yes. Oh, the Barracks gets picked off. That's interesting. Is he going to make another one? Yes, he's replacing his Barracks. Because he wants to be able to make more factories, I would guess. Mmm, this is a very strange game. I'm enjoying it a lot. I hope you are too, because if you're enjoying it, go ahead and hit that like button. Increase the YouTube algorithm ability to find me and recommend me to other channels. I'd appreciate it. Alright, so here come the Scourge. Get out of there! Oh, they're not even running. Scourge are fast, man. They are fast, but Wraiths are faster. Ooh, jinking around. Is he trying to sack? He's trying to do some fancy micro to kill these Scourge. And he's actually doing pretty well with it, honestly. One of them goes down. The other one goes down. Nicely done. Nicely played by Nada there. Fancy, fancy tricks on display here. Dude does not want to take the center base. It looks like he wants to take the center base. He hasn't expanded yet, so it's got to be something. He's not building a command center inside of his main. Is he seriously going Mass Wraith on this map? This is insane! Hero's gonna be taken by so much surprise. He's making Mutas, though. Mutas are a pretty good trade against Wraiths. Again, anything that can hit Wraiths are great against Wraiths. Zergling's bad against Wraiths. Ultra's bad against Wraiths. Pretty much anything else in the game, good against Wraiths. Because they're made of tissue paper. There's a reason we won't see them a lot in anything but TBT. So, Mutas are out. Detection is available because the Overlords exist. Might upgrade this one to a Spore. Just to help. And he is. Okay, he's getting a sport at the natural base. The muta count is pretty nice. And this is this is good. And I like this a lot, actually. Mutas are fast. They can come between the two bases faster than the Hydras can, too. So Cloaked Wraith's coming in. Spore on the way. There we go. It took its time getting here. It does pop up at just in time. Oh, what? And then Hero takes the center base instead. Ha 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 ha. He does. Where'd that SCV go? Did he kill it? He might have killed that SCV and then took over its land. I like this map. It's crazy. It gives us crazy games. I'm super on board with this. These wraiths are fighting. I mean, they suck against buildings. They're really bad against buildings. I don't see any reason he's just sticking around and trying to kill that hatch, but he's going mass wraith, you guys. This is math ra mass wraith with like a tank and a handful of marines to defend. Ah, here goes the control. And the Muta's getting some nice hits off. And again, any hits you can get are good hits. One Wraith goes down. Heard that Wraith death sound for sure. Muta's coming in. Scourge trying to get a hit. No, just backing out. Maybe trying to kill an SCP if there's nothing. there are no turrets here to defend. That's what the Wraiths are for. No static defense required. Dude, he's still going Mass Wraith. He's also getting Stim and working on Marines. This feels like a pretty interesting Marine tank push. In conjunction with the Wraiths, did I not mute Discord? I swear I had. Discord, why must you vex me so? Maybe we'll just avoid it for the rest of the uh, the rest of the game. Nobody will say anything else, right? That's usually how that works. I'm only in like 11 Discord servers. You can join the Discord server, by the way. There are other Brood War fans in there. You can come say hello. So the Mutas picking off individual Marines at the back of the group here. Ooh, that tank is really juicy pickings too. But the Marines are coming on in to this base. There's a sunken coming up in the middle. Mutas fighting. If you lose a couple Mutas here, it's okay. You can afford to lose a couple Mutalisks here. Just killing the Marines is the priority target right now. And the sunken comes up, and now we're good. I'm not even sure if the siege tank has siege mode, to be honest with you. Oh, cloaking on in. All of the drones here at the third base are in trouble. There is no spore here at all. Not even sure one spore would be enough to dissuade this from happening. Massacre of drones. Hero is down to 18 drones right now. Skrrrt, get some hits off. He's not running the race at all. Maybe that seems like a bad idea. 
But at the end of the day, there are actually four races in a Mutalisk, and the race win that battle. Perhaps not running was the smart thing. Not, I knew what he was doing after all. Holy crap, is that your ball game? It's 30 to 19 workers. This third base is going to go down. The race going after this is sunken so that the Marines and tanks can finish off this hatchery. Ugh, 20 drones is not a lot of drones, and no third base at all. If he kept that third base, he'd be in a great place, which is why Nada was willing to get in there and sacrifice some stuff to make it happen. God, his control is so good. His control is so good! Look at this. He's refusing to get hit here. Ooh, as I say that, he does take a Scourge hit, so nobody's perfect, everybody. Hydra's tacking on in. That's what the tank is for. That's what the Marines are for here. This is such a low econ game. It's still one base for Nada, which I kind of am in love with. We haven't seen a super long low econ game in a while. This reminds me of early, early Brood War. Early StarCraft 1. These were various typical games with one or two Hydras versus a couple Marines and a tank. And the game evolved over time and became a little bit more macro oriented for the most part, but yeah, killing this third base is priority. This second gas dying is everything that Nada needs to win this game. And he does it. He shuts down all gas income. He's going to take down this hatchery without much problem. If there was lurker aspect, I think this would go better. But maybe you worry about the race if you have the lurkers. Muta's coming on in. Focusing down the race while taking huge marine shots, though. And they are forced to flee severely injured. All four of those. Oh, medics coming in trying to get some stuff done. The Mutas might want to focus on those guys, but nope. Not enough time to do that at all. 60 to 40 overall supply, which means, according to the math, Nada has about a 10 army supply lead on the Zerg player. And now a one basing. Effectively, a one gassing Zerg is in so much trouble. He's got his lings, but he doesn't even have metabolic boost for them. They are just slow lings, which makes them the worst units in the entire game. Boy, those links. Remember how I said they're the worst units in the game? That's because they're the worst units in the game. Taken his natural. Done with his natural is Nada because he's an absolute boss. Muta's trying to pick off Marines, but taking serious shots of this flock of Mutas. There's only six of them. Sunkins are coming up trying to defend. Again, I don't think Siege Mode is done. Just been using this tank in regular old attack mode with five kills is not bad, though. And the Marines snuck up around the... Did they get dropped? How'd they get over here? Anyway, they're over here now. They're directly threatening the main base. So Hero has to engage here. Even if he does lose one of his Mutalisks, he does win that battle, which counts for a whole lot right now. More Mutas on the way, but the production tab is not very busy for Hero. He's trying to drone up. He, I mean, uh, it's the truth. One gas on a Terran versus one gas on a Zerg is highly favoring the Terran player. Marines are really good. Zergling's not as good. And again, Vulture is a pretty big deal here, too. So Metabolic Boost is coming on in. Hero is still huge, actually hugely behind. 70 to 36. This Marine Tank Medic Army looks a lot more standard and looks scary enough to get through here, especially if Siege Mode is researching. It almost is. Mutas are desperately trying to slow down Nada's economy by killing SCVs. Does kill two or three of them, which is nice. Main base, not super... I guess there are a couple turrets there, which is good. Muta, the control here by Hero is insane. Like, he's doing so well with, with the few units that he has right now. Nada's control has been insane. What a great match this is. I am super on board with this match. I enjoyed immensely. Macro Hatch coming up. Maybe trying to sneak a base down here. Overlord, see if there's anything to worry about. And there is. There's an SCV down in this corner. Muta's flying into three turrets is suicide. And one Muta does die. I don't know if you can afford to lose many more Mutalisks here. There are no Lurkers. There are no Lings. Okay, there are some Lings. There are Sunkins here, yes, but there are two tanks with Siege. This feels like a death push for Hero. Oh, trying to take that center base again is Hero. I don't know if he can. I was going to be able to here. Where are those Zerglings? You don't want to run in until the tanks on Siege. And even then, it's 81 to 47 supply. Nada is up big time right now. He is dominating this game. Denying that second gas was such a huge thing for him. It's paying off in spades now. Just slowly, patiently getting rid of the sunken. The muta count keeps increasing. There are a decent number here. And trying to use this high ground to avoid getting shot as much as possible are these mutas. Medic down. Medic down. Trying to kill these tanks. The marines have abandoned it for just a second. Now they're back to protecting it. Oh, too many shots! That was too many direct shots, Hero. 
He is just so tentatively trying to do this thing. He's got a bunch of lings. They do not have any upgrades whatsoever. The Marines have plus one attack and that stim. No upgrades for the mech here either. Going on in. Now the Sunkens are gone. There's a Sunken on the back, but we don't care about that one. Let's go ahead and kill this hatch. Sure, the Sunken might get a couple shots off. The Mutas are in a huge amount of trouble. There are eight of them. They are all severely injured after that particular engagement. Single Zergling up there waiting for his chance to get on in. But he's on one base. I mean, if this base gets discovered, it's over. Not as expanding to the bottom left. We have seen this situation before. And Nada just completely outclassing Hero in this game. There's just no way. 91 to 53 overall supply. Hero is still on 20 drones, which is a one base economy because his natural is dead. His third base, I think, might have just got scanned because <laughs> Nada is coming down to take it out. And yeah, Irradiate's on the way. Science Vessel's coming in. Nada moving into a late game Zerg style. It's got to be a counterattack base race style with these Zerglings trying to get on in here on top of these medics and marines. The upgrades are really good, though. And sure, a couple marines die, but overall that was not a good exchange for our guy, Hero. Not a too terrifying, too strong. This base is gonna die, and I think that's it for Hero. There's nothing left for him. He's got a handful of Mutalisks, some Zerglings, but against the full might of a marine tank army like this, where plus one armor is almost done for that infantry, uh-uh. I really give Hero a lot for fighting it out here. There have been a few games recently where they haven't done that, but Hero fights to the bitter end and does tap out there in 16 minutes and 26 seconds. Absolutely fantastic, fantastic display of Terran ingenuity and power, in my opinion, from Nada. Yes, does this map favor Terran and Protoss over Zerg? It certainly does. Never having that second gas income for longer than about 20 seconds was a major problem for Hero. He never had the gas to get Lurker Aspect. He never had the gas to get additional upgrades for his Lings until it was too late. He never had the gas to get a ton of Mutalisks out. The most he ever had at one time was probably 11, which is fine, but uh, not enough without the support of anything else. There was no hope to get to Hive off of one base either. The gas income was so limited. So Zerg players, don't play this map. Is really bad for you, but I love Nada's strategy. Opening up with the Wraiths, recognizing there wouldn't be a lot of gas available to defend against them early on. Shutting down this third base with just a handful of Wraiths and a tank and a couple Marines was just sheer genius and sheer perfect execution. And then he just got into his standard Marine tank medic irradiate phase, pushed up, killed the natural base, wiped this desperation retaking of the center base, hoping Nada doesn't see it from Hero, and gets the win. I don't know what else to say about that. That was just really peak Nada. It was a fantastic game. I've I've been using the Epic Tag a lot recently. I don't think I want to use it here. Just because I don't know that Hero was really ever in a good spot this game. It was kind of a start-to-finish domination by Nada. Which a lot of you Terran fans love to see. I mean, I think there have been a lot of Zerg wins on the channel recently. So getting a Terran win, especially with Nada, is a nice treat for you guys. So I think we're going to do leave it uh, without the Hero Tag. But... If you want to see some incredible play from Nada, which, how do you not? If you want to see some incredible play from Hero, how do you not? I hope you enjoyed this game, because uh, I had a lot of fun casting it. All right, let's check out that final score. We're looking at a 65,000 point score for Nada to 51,000 for Hero. 170 Zerg units produced, ended up killing 68. Not great there, and lost 100 of them. He had 70 units left? This math doesn't make any sense. How did that happen? He didn't have that many workers. I guess... Hmm, math. Math is hard. And then Nada produced 156. Lost only 68 of them and killed 104. Better ratio. And then Minerals Mind, or Gas Mind, the same. Makes sense. They were both on one gas effectively the whole game. Nada had more Minerals Mind because that natural base was up running. Actually, I'm surprised by that. I guess he had more workers, though. Nada did have that natural base, but he never really got up to any more than 20 drones. And then just about 3,000 more resources spent, which is a good number of marines and tanks, and just enough, just enough to get that win there. So fantastic game. Really, really, really fun game. And that's going to be it from me today. So this has been Falcon Paladin coming at you with yet another edition of a StarCraft Brood War Remastered. Go ahead, hit that like button, hit that subscribe if you like what you saw and what you heard today. You can also catch me on Twitter, Facebook, Patreon, and Twitch. All at slash Falcon Paladin. And until next time, as always, thank you so much for watching. And you take care of yourself.